Slow Ukraine! Hello comrades, and welcome to a special announcement video. I'm announcing that I'm getting access to the, uh, early access to the Vietnam War 1955-1975 mod. Uh, if you've been following it on ModDB, or, uh, if you've been on the Discord, much like myself, um, this isn't exactly anything new, this is just me announcing that I'll be getting access to it, and, uh, just talking about some of the things, some of the screenshots and whatnot, um, I'm not, I don't have all the screenshots shown here, uh, you can go on ModDB and the Discord for those, uh, but there's just a few that I figured would be worth pointing out, a few that the mod developers asked me to show off, so, uh, anyway, let's get right into it, um, so this mod, uh, obviously encompasses the Vietnam War, uh, it's not a crappy port of the, uh, Man of War Vietnam game, I've seen that on ModDB, I don't know why someone would want it for Assault Squad 2, I mean, you could just buy the game, or maybe if you didn't want to buy it, I don't know. For some reason, someone ported it, don't know why, don't care. <sighs> this is nothing like that, though. Uh, so here we have, so we're going to start with showing off infantry, some of the uh, models, the backpacks and stuff, as you see here. Uh, you got some smoke grenades, you have, uh, I think, a LAW rocket launcher. It's like one of those small, single-shot kind of launchers, very portable, kind of good for anti-tank, yeah, depending on the tank that you use it against. Anyway, uh, we got another variant here, uh, I think like ammo clips, so this guy would be like a machine gun support crew guy. Uh, here we have some infantry skins, I think this is US Army, it could also be the uh, South Vietnamese Army, which I mean obviously they used US equipment, so I mean, I guess both, same. Uh, here we have just some more equipment. Uh, yeah, this cool kind of jacket thing that he's wearing. Um, you don't actually see that in many Vietnam mods. And I don't think you see it in the base game either. Uh, so it's pretty cool. The jacket, uh, the ammo belt. Uh, the animations also, the, uh, these kind of idle animations. I hope that at the very least they're in the mod, so like if I wanted to script it in for like a mission or something, just some guy standing around, I'd like to hopefully see that, but uh, maybe not. Uh, here we have the South Vietnamese, uh, these I think are the latest reworked models. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. Uh, again, just very basic green uh, uniform. Not a, it, it's almost, uh, yeah, it's like a light greenish, almost tannish color. At least from what I can tell. Very cool helmet, the South Vietnamese flag. Uh, we got a better close-up model. Uh, the helmet's really cool, how they have the, uh, kind of the, I think the Mar Marlboro cigarettes? Marl I can't remember what the name of the cigarette pack is, but it looks very similar to it. Um, very cool how it kind of almost sticks out of the side of the helmet. It's not like a painted on texture. So here we have uh, a better view of some more animations, um, the helmets on the soldiers, the different variants, you got one, like some with clips, uh, some with game cards like Ace. I don't remember if there's a particular reason for why they put stuff on their helmets, aside from maybe ease of access, but there's something particular about the cards that I, wanna, that I can't exactly remember why, but hopefully someone can leave in the comments why or a link to something about it because it's very interesting. Anyway, very cool helmets. Got some goggles. Uh, yeah. Here we have a close up of the helmets. Uh, this one's like a postcard with uh, matches on the side in the middle of it. Got one on the right. And one might just be one with a strap without anything on it. Maybe there's something on the other side of the helmet that you can't see. Uh, but on the far left, you have just a plain helmet with the. Uh, with the like, kind of cover over it, that has the camo texture on it. Uh, these guys here, they look like Anzacs, but actually, uh, from what I saw in the comments, these guys are apparently the French. So uh, it's pretty awesome that this mod will be including them. Uh, just like the Anzacs and even uh, Canadians, um, they're not very well mentioned in the Vietnam War. Maybe it's because they didn't play a big enough part to be mentioned, but... I feel like they should be regardless. Anyway, these guys are the French. I don't know to what extent they'll be included in or what exactly they'll play, but uh, it's pretty awesome that we'll be seeing them. 
Uh, here we have some more. Uh, these are the South Vietnamese Army helmets. Uh, so you got like a Vietnam flag there, the South Vietnam flag. Uh, like a dragon or cat creature kind of face thing. It's very iconic. I've seen it in uh, other places before as well. I, I can't remember where though. But uh, very cool looking. Very well detailed. Uh, here we got some soldiers in combat. And what I like about this screenshot is that it shows the injuries. So uh, a lot of mods, they'll just have a few blood splats and that's kind of it. But this one you can see uh, not only are their arms and hands bloodied, legs and all, but uh, they have like bandages, you know, they have this kind of like quickly patched up kind of look. Uh, it's very nice, very detailed. Showing off a few of the animations, like the crouching animation here. This guy's holding like a, in, in the uh, bottom right uh, next to the M16 guy. I got the machine gun's kind of like holding it like kind of at his shoulder, like his waist kind of level. Uh, looks very cool. I don't know how, if that'll actually be the animation for the machine gunner being idle or in combat. Very cool though. Uh, for this one, I'm actually uh, showing this because of the trucks in the back. Uh, what's, re what's really cool about these guys, and you'll obviously tell, it's like just the homemade kind of armor plating and the sandbags all over the trucks. Uh, it's really cool. It's not just uh, a bland U.S. Army truck with a machine gun mounted on it. It looks kind of like this uh, kind of thrown together homemade protection kind of thing that soldiers discovered kind of helps protect them. Uh, very cool. Very rugged kind of battle-worn look. So, uh, you know, not this fresh, clean painted trucks that you see in other mods or uh, in the Men of War Vietnam game. Uh, so hopefully we get to see these in action. Uh, so we get a close-up of the helmets from earlier. I uh, got like a, a piece of Playboy magazine, I think. Or maybe a Playboy postcard. Uh, a little smiley face. You got some other postcards. Yep, the smokes. I thought it was Marlboro, but I guess it's just... I just uh, labeled it smokes, whatever. Uh, very cool. Very well detailed. Especially how, like, uh, as I said before, how the helmet, as you'll see on the bottom left, how it kind of looks like the things are actually sticking out of the side of the helmet. It's not like this flat painted on look it's like it's like modeled out there so uh very cool it's same with the ammo clips you can see the bullets sitting inside uh here we have the anzacs uh i saw it on the the screenshot on the mod to be uh, apparently someone commented you know yay the anzacs are here and uh so i guess that's what these guys are uh, i they're all in plain green so I couldn't I wouldn't be able to notice but I guess someone was able to uh, can't wait to see what role they play just like the French uh, you don't hear a whole bunch of their involvement uh, so it'll be cool to see what uh, what their uh, involvement is we'll get to learn some here we have the Vietnamese army uh, let me try and zoom in so mostly kind of shirtless models you got Somewhat shirts, obviously fighting in a jungle and, you know, very hot environment. Uh, having a bunch of gear on you, you know, you'd sweat and just get really gross. So, uh, little soldiers would have just makeshift with taking off shirts or, uh, you know, obviously having, short, you know, cut their sleeves and whatnot. Very cool looking. Uh, I don't know if this is the most current uh, image. This is the only one that I found so far. So maybe they've updated it. So it'll be cool to see them. Uh, you know, obviously they're not in just the uh, plain green with that certain style of hat with the red star on it. You get some actual variation. Uh, here we are with some weapons. Uh, well, not some weapons. Uh, this is the only weapons that I've actually feel like showing just because uh, CM16 with a bayonet, you don't really see that in any mod. You usually see an AK-47 or AK-74 with a bayonet. So it's cool you're seeing an M16, as well as the two different types of knives. This really large, kind of much bigger blade, whereas this one's much smaller, thinner. This one almost looks like an officer's kind of dagger thing, whereas this would be like more of an infantry semi-machete thing. At least that's from what my take of it is. Looks really cool. Uh, can't wait to see it. 
so here we have some more animations. Uh, the crouching animation, obviously you got this guy who's kind of like holding it at the waist level, kind of like that machine gunner earlier. Kind of like, you know, looking to the side. I don't know if that'll be an idle animation or if that's like a actual combat pose that some will fire from the hip like that. Uh, that'd be really cool to see. And then you have the guy that does the normal aiming on the top left there. So, uh, you know, regardless, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, here we have some more, we have some vehicles. Uh, I forget the name of this truck. Um, but there are the, usually the ones that you see, I think, are the M939 or something similar to that. But it usually has like a very boxy, very squared kind of look. This one has more of a rounded and smoothed, kind of really wide, goofy kind of look to it. Uh, for like the hood and all that, the lights too, very circular, smooth, uh, but very cool. It's something I haven't seen before in any mod, so uh, it's cool that they're implementing their own models or they're at least implementing newer vehicles that you haven't seen before. So here we have the Soviet T-34 uh, with Vietnamese uh, markings. This is the only uh, screenshot of it that I found, so uh, maybe there's more. Maybe there'll be more variants, which will be cool to see. Um, yeah, just, uh, this is T-54 or T-55? I don't know, I, I know it's a T-50 of some kind because of the rounded turret thing. Um, as well as those were, what were seen, that saw combat in, uh, the Vietnam era, so, war era. Uh, again, this is just the plain green model. I'm sure there'll be some textures with Vietnamese markings or even Soviet markings, so it'll be cool to see how that works. Here we have the fighter jets. Uh, this is, I think, the Typhoon. I can't be certain. I don't know my jets too well. So, uh, but a very cool looking fighter. Uh, I wonder how it will work because uh, air combat, as you all know, has always been just very cringy and terrible. I mean, the best that we've gotten, at least in my opinion, has been like the Cold War because the Cold War fighter jets, uh, the mod... Uh, the fighter jet mod, or the jets in that mod, uh, you know, even though they'll fly in circles, if you order them to, like, fly over a group of enemies, they'll actually, uh, if you have them on fire at will, they actually will fire off all their weapons uh, a bit randomly, but again, you know, they will target the AI, so uh, maybe we'll see that in this mod, maybe not, you know, very cool regardless. Uh, here it is in combat. Uh, you know, this might just be a setup screenshot thing, but uh, still looks very cool. Uh, can't wait to see how well it uh, turns out. Uh, here we have the destroyed models of the Huey, and I th can't remember what the name of the other helicopter is. It's not the Ap Apache. I don't want to say that's the Apache. It might be. But I think the Apache was, like, much later on. I could be wrong, though. Uh, again, I don't know my air vehicles too well, but I do know the Huey. The far left right there. Uh, it's very cool, the damage model, the broken tail. Uh, you know, a lot of times damage models are usually, you know, all one and, you know, partially bent, maybe with a broken piece or whatever hanging out. But it's, like, all black or all rusted. And it's just really kind of just boring looking. But these, they look properly shot up. You got, like, a blood stain on the inside there. Um, you got the shattered glass chunks still on the, uh, thing. It's not, like, all cleared out. Uh, so it's very awesome looking. Can't wait to see how that'll work in the mod. Um, let's see, we got to the, uh, something jeep. I am blanking on the name of this jeep, but, uh, it's obviously an iconic World War II jeep. Uh, a lot of World War II equipment obviously was used both in Vietnam and Korea. So uh, this is one of those times. Uh, very cool. You got the machine gun variant. You have the uh, just the transport kind. Maybe the officer's car kind of thing. I don't know if the uh, passenger, the way he's like turned out that way, if he will actually sit like that or if it'll uh, or if it was just a setup. But regardless, it looks really cool. You know, really well detailed. Uh, we have that same truck again. Uh, this time, I think this is the one on the left is without the canvas. Uh, so it's like an infantry carrier, but it doesn't have the canvas covering. 
And the other one on the right is obviously a fuel uh, kind. It's a very goofy looking truck, but it is very cool that they are implementing it. Uh, this is a vehicle I've never seen before. I'm going to zoom in on it. I don't know what it's called, nor do I know its purpose. But uh, it's certainly unique. Uh, I'm not sure if... I, like It's got like some sandbags there. It doesn't have any top, uh, top down kind of views. So I don't know what's on the inside, if it's like infantry carrier or like a mortar, like a mobile mortar kind of thing. Um, but yeah, looks very cool. Uh, it's very, it's something original that they're either porting or making themselves. So uh, something to look forward to right there. Some kind of infantry carrier thing. If you can identify what it is, let me know. Uh, here we have the classic M113. Yeah, I think I want to say it's the M113. Very cool, though. The uh, It's not just the bland green uh, paint skin. It has uh, some scrawled-on graffiti words. Not exactly graffiti, but uh, just things that soldiers painted on. A little Confederate flag there. Pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we'll see some more different skin variants. I mean, I know how to make textures for vehicles, so maybe I'll make a few of my own. Uh, but still, very cool. I thought I'd show that. Some infantry in combat. You got the shotgunner here. He's got an interesting animation. I don't know if that's like a reload kind of moment where he's frozen, but uh, they're like all crouched, looking around. Very cool looking. Uh, here's one of the maps. Uh, again, you can look for more of the images on ModDB and Discord. Uh, but this is just one that I liked and figured I'd show off. It's a cool kind of machine gun area. The other thing that I'll uh, note is the sandbags. Um, in both the Vietnam Men of War and like uh, the few Vietnam kind of mods that have been made, the sandbags have either been tan or green. But this is very cool, like the mixed colors, the brown, the tannish, the greenish. Like it's all kind of hastily thrown together. It's worn and dirty looking. You know, it's not like clean and freshly made. Uh, so it's, it's very cool to see. We got an ET there. Not sure what he would play in there, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, we got ah something else that uh, I like that this mod is showing is that uh, you haven't seen another mod in yet. I don't even really see movies either. Uh, actually, there's a movie, Full Metal Jacket. I haven't seen that one in forever, but they did show a bit of the urban combat, which there was some in the Vietnam War. There wasn't a whole bunch, but there was some, and I'm glad that this mod is touching down on that. Uh, very, it's very cool. Um, I've seen some of the uh, custom buildings and damages to them, so uh, it's really cool that we'll be seeing some new building models, not just some few bamboo houses or uh, kind of like poorly constructed ones. Uh, so you got some rooftop fighting here. I don't know how that'll work. It looks really awesome. It looks like you, you can just place them down, so hopefully set up some cool ambushes, you know, like have an army convoy or something go through. So that'll be cool to see. Uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, announcement video and just kind of showing off the screenshots. If you've seen the model mod DB and Discord and that's nothing new to you, well, uh, just hopefully this refreshes and uh, hmm, re-encourages? or rehypes or just you know builds up the hype again for this mod uh to any of you that it's completely new i hope this pulls you in and i hope you enjoyed what you saw and um uh, i hope to get access soon so i can start showing you some combat uh yeah that's about it i'll leave a link to the discord and uh the mod db page uh in the video uh you can always join uh, obviously, you can leave either a comment on my DB, but if you really want to uh, talk with the devs or with me, we'll be on the Discord. Uh, it's a pretty awesome group of guys. I'm uh, really thankful that you have offered me the chance to uh, have access to this awesome mod, and I applaud you for your great work. Uh, and to everyone else, I tell you, you know, the patience and the wait behind this mod, you know, it's going to be worth it. So, uh, you know, keep your eyes open. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good morning, good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. So see you soon.